You don't have to have a passionless Valentine's Day. And in fact, we would encourage folks not to have a passionless Valentine's Day. And sometimes that can happen when we get overwhelmed by the commercialism and just do what we're quote unquote supposed to do, but it doesn't really mean anything, right? So don't have a passionless Valentine's Day, but also don't be obsessive about the passion. Uh, don't feel like you need to be in a relationship where you can't live uh, without thinking about the, the other person 24 seven. Instead, focus on harmonious passion. So think about the authentic passion, the authentic interest that each one, each person in the relationship have and then think about how to share it with each other. And then sometimes it can be a, a great thing as Susie and I have discovered also sharing it with others. Giving people the opportunity to, again, authentically communicate with each other about what love means to us, about who we love, about why we love, uh, allows us again to experience passion, I think, in a much deeper and more sustaining way and help the relationships uh, to grow in ways, again, that are long-term, but also that have a lot of zest along the way.